Hi guys. Um, sorry, I just got back swimming with Davis. We did a new um, mom and tot swim class this morning. It was really fun. Um, anyway, I just had a question. Um, with Taylor and Davis, I both times I had hospital births with both of them. Um, I had them both naturally, but I had epidurals with both. Um, Taylor got an epidural at three centimeters, like right when I got there, I wasn't even uncomfortable or anything, I just did. Um, and I was totally numb, deadened, couldn't feel anything. Um, the delivery was fine, everything was fine. The problem was, is he was in the NICU, so I didn't get to see him, like my deadening lasted so long. Um, I was deadened and for like six hours after I had him, so I couldn't go and see him in the NICU until he was like six, seven, eight hours old. Um, so I hated that. They wouldn't let me go in a wheelchair or anything. They wouldn't let me get up until I was totally undeadened, so I could walk on my own. So that was really annoying. And then with Davis, they gave me an epidural, um, but I waited until I was eight to nine centimeters with him. Um, I considered going naturally with him. But I decided that I would get an epidural. Um, just, I guess I didn't have my heart in it. <laughs> I, I wanted to do it, but I just, I just knew I was going to get an epidural and, you know, that was fine. So they gave me an epidural and I just, it was so awful. Like, they didn't numb me very much. I was just really tingly. I felt like my whole body was asleep, but I couldn't move it. It was like that tingly sensation when your limbs are falling asleep. But it was so aggravating, and it made me so nauseous. So I was throwing up, and um, yeah, it was awful. It was such a bad experience with the epidural that time. Um, and they just told me to keep pressing the button until I was completely numb, and I just did not want to do that much medication. Um, and so, yeah, so my my experience with him wasn't very good. And also, when I got into the hospital, I was already five centimeters, and they broke my water, and within a half hour I was eight to nine but what made me mad is right when they broke my water they gave me Pitocin and I was already at a five and I look back now and uh, it makes me so mad because I was already having contractions I was moving right along by myself so because um, I was induced with both of the kids um, Taylor was for medical reasons he had a deteriorating placenta it wasn't giving him proper nutrition and whatnot anymore and with Davis I was induced because um, they were concerned that I would have the same thing with him as I did with Taylor. Um, so they just took me a week early, um, which I still somewhat regret doing. Um, I kind of wish that I'd have just gone into labor with him and everything was fine, but when the doctor's telling you, well, you know, it looks okay, but you just never know, <laughs> you don't want to lose your baby. Had we gone home with Taylor or not gone to the hospital the day we did, he probably would not have made it. Um, and so we just, of course, didn't want to risk that with Davis. Um, when he was born, everything was great. His placenta was fine and everything. So that leads me to this time. I cannot decide what to do. Um, I've been doing lots of research and I've been watching lots of documentaries. Um, the last one I just watched was Pregnant in America. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's really fascinating. Um, but it's about home births. It's about hospital births and kind of compares the two. I'm not considering doing a home birth. I would love to do a home birth, but I don't know. It just something about it doesn't seem very safe. Um, so I won't do a home birth, but I kind of want to do an unmedicated birth. I would love to do like a water birth um, in a hospital, but um, I don't know if there's any around here. I haven't looked into that yet or that my insurance will cover and everything. Um, so I kind of want to experience that this time around. But, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. They said in some areas that women, I mean, I shouldn't, I'm not judging, but I just can't even imagine. They will opt for a C-section, um, just totally out of conveniency. They said like that, that um, on the weekends, they'll do like one or two C-sections, and during the weeks, they'll do like 40 or 50 C-sections because people don't want to have babies on the weekends, which is just crazy. I can't imagine inducing my baby um, for totally for the conveniency of myself I just that's just crazy to me that is crazy <laughs> if you choose to do it then go for it but to me that just seems so crazy because uh, there's just so many things but anyways 
Um, and having a C-section is like a major surgery and um, people just take it so lightly. They said that the percentage of C-sections um, has gone from 1985, I believe it was, until now. It's gone from 7% to 34% of women end up with C-sections. Um, and they say most of them are elective, that they just go in, whether it's the doctor is going out of town so they want to do it, um, if they're going, you know, their husband's working or whatever, I don't know, they just elect to do them just out of community. They even said, like, people were inducing because they didn't want to have a baby over Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> I just think it's so crazy. Um, so, anyways, <laughs> enough of that. I just can't decide what to do. I didn't know if any of you guys have had home births or unmedicated births and what your experience was with it. Um, what kind of prenatal care you did. Did you do it with a doctor um, up until delivery and have a doula set up for delivery? Um, or did you have a midwife the whole time and then do a doula or the midwife to delivery? Um, I was just kind of wondering what everybody's opinion was on that and how they went about that if you guys have had a home birth. Um, but I really am strongly considering at this time to go 100% natural. I want to go into labor this time. I've never gone into labor. I want to go into labor. I don't want Pitocin. I don't want medication. I don't want, you know, any epidurals, anything like that. And I know I can do it because with Davis, I was already in transition. Um, I really feel like I could have done it. I just kind of panicked and I... Like I said, I didn't have my mindset. That's what I was doing. I was just kind of like, I'm going to have an epidural. I just wanted to see how far I could go, see what it felt like, because with Taylor, I just didn't experience it at all. Um, and so this time, I really just think I want to experience it, and I want to try to do it all natural. So um, I might change my mind, <laughs> but right now, that's really what I'm feeling. Um, I mean, I definitely would like to do like a natural birth, whether it be with or without medication. I don't want a C-section if I can at all avoid it. Um, so anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have had any experiences with um, home births, doulas, midwives, that kind of stuff. Um, and just let me know. Okay, see you guys.